chronic flooding. Those are nothing. Wrath of God, though, that's good. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Okay, we hit the goods here. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. Place at a force of will. Sick! All right, he's got a little corner problems there. All right, back up, right? Let's let me scan my wrath of God. <laughs> well, it's a uh, tenth edition, nine bucks. Yeah. Okay. Force of will from alliances times one is seventy-nine bucks. Still, there's four. Well, guess what? That does it. That puts me well over my amount that I needed to be able to open up that box of Modern Masters. I'll do it. I'll open it. Um, and, but for now, I'll enjoy my new playset of Force of Will. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Oh, this one's got a little bit of creasing and stuff on the top. Guess what? I'll be very happy to take 40, 50 bucks for these. We'll see what I can get on the appropriate selling channel. Wow, I'm out of room to show off cool stuff. There they go. That'll be a good thumbnail. Okay, so they don't all lay flat because they've been in these binders for a while. So that's got to be taken into consideration, I suppose. But for now... Um, here they are. We've got a promo, mana leak, um, player reward, I believe, right? Yeah, 11 bucks on that. So, pretty decent. I'm turn this down here. Um, here's a Tarmogoyf. That one's pretty good. 86, 95. It's in a class by itself. So, here's a foreign damnation. Yep, it's a. Uh, My mouth just has to move. Hey! What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you was in this box? The Icy Manipulator from Unlimited. See how I saw? Schuler. Barely was visible in that picture. And just so you could see the comma and the E and this other comma. And when you look at cards online and you go through, you, filter it by artifact and unlimited you come up with hey, I think that was it and it was so super stoked about that $90 card looking amazingly good for being just thrown in the box you got a little corner problem slightly this dude I would call this near mint near mint Unlimited IC manipulator. What else is in here? I unfortunately am going to be kind of out of time. Whoa. Oh, okay. I was not expecting to see an actually really good card in any of these deck boxes. Wow, a, a Legends Caracas in mint condition. Is it fake? Wow, I'm gonna have to get out my loot because who knows? It sure seems out of place in these kind of decks, but yeah, for 95 bucks. Well, <clears throat> that's the winner so far. I really hope this is real. It's like so mint that I'm suspicious, but I mean, it seems okay. Uh, fonts are pretty sharp. I'll have to look at it real close later, but we'll throw that out there for now. That was it for that deck. Exceeded what I paid for the lot completely. Uh, with a lot left to go. There's a whole box in there 
that I had seen on the listing that I thought was going to be the good stuff. We're not even to that yet. I, I don't even know what to say. Here we go. Back to basics. Times two of those. And a freaking Jace the Mind Sculptor. Ah! What? More than one. Okay, what happened here? <laughs> I'm flipping out, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I got to... I had to, I lost my mind there for a minute. Let me uh, regain it. Holy crap. Two back to basics. Of course, they have come down a bit, but the original Urza Saga is going to be more than the Ultimate Masters version. Times two. Wow. Okay. Next up. Okay, one of the best cards that you could find and there's one two Three of them and an arid mesa behind it. Okay. I'm gonna have to like take that stack and just one at a time it You're kidding me. He's got a little play. They've got They've been picked in and out of uh, sleeves ah, But there they are 98 Oh wait, hold on. That's the wrong version. The World League version, 103 times three. Sweet. Okay. There they are. Okay. Next. Rasputin Dreamweaver. Oh my gosh, 119 bucks for Rasputin. Seven counters on Rasputin. When brought into play, you may remove a counter to prevent one damage to Rasputin or add one to your mana pool. This ability is played as an interrupt. Wow. Okay. That's great. We'll take it. I wonder again, how much was that card before 2017? How much was it before 2010, right? So I'm going to have to probably look that kind of stuff up later. Attempted buyouts on that. Oh, power artifact. Well, that sounds like a good one. Let's take a look at that. 128 bucks for an uncommon. Yes. One, two, three of those. Yes, please. That's what I was hoping for. One, two, three of those. Great. That's great. That's great. Here's more Drafna's Restorations. One, two. Oh, I think I see another good one coming up. Yes, transmute artifacts. That uh, is awesome. All right, so three more Drafnas. <sighs> Loving this. Transmute artifact and power artifact are both uncommons, but I think they're both on the reserve list, and it shows in the price. 156 bucks for transmute artifacts. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. Yeah. Look at the variation in the ink on that one. This one here. Six, four, five, six. That is a score, people. Sliver Queen! Oh, yeah! Okay, okay, it's got some play to it. Unbelievable. There's a lot of slivers in here. And there's the queen, yes. Can you see it? Will you scan it? Yes, oh, this thing has gone up big time just in the last couple weeks, I think. Modern Horizons, slivers are back. Oh my gosh, you gotta have the reserve list Sliver Queen for your Slivers deck. That is so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get a sleeve for that. Um, let's see here. Um, probably moderate play, if I'm being honest. Yep, so. You know what? I'll take it. I will take it. So, I actually already have a couple of these. 
I think I pulled one out of a pack when I was a young lad. And I actually played Slivers when I played during Stronghold. So I'll always take another one. Awesome. Seen a little play. I think this one's not that big of an issue, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, that one's like an MP. Whoa! I missed. I did not see that I had that in my hand. All right, now we're getting somewhere, people. That is fantastic. A revised Savannah. I hope you can see. Let's see if I can get this to focus better. Gosh, the focus on this channel is terrible. So. Not an alpha, come on. But still, a revised edition Savannah. That makes my day right there. This is a legitimate collection. It was not picked by the Goodwill. Uh, I now feel justified in paying 500 bucks for this lot. Uh, let's find some more dual lands in here. Um, so now I got, I got a duplicate. I got half a play set. I can't. Uh, Angus McKenzie, I think this is the guy that uh, gets asked to be made some deck tech out of on one of those channels, and boy is he worth a lot. 223 bucks for Angus McKenzie. He's Bant, and you can tap Bant. Creatures attack and block as normal, but none deal any damage during combat. All attacking creatures are still tapped. Use this ability anytime before attack damage is dealt. Wow, so it's just a fog on a stick. That is fantastic. Angus McKenzie, my man, right there. I like it. Uh, Ragnar. Gorilla Shamans are good. Bing. I'll take one of those. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Unbelievable. If you're going to leave behind... A Mirage Rare, that's the one I would like you to leave behind. Thank you very much, whoever did not pick this. That's insane. That is insane. This is, so this is the second Lion, maybe the third Lion's Eye Diamond I've found. The other, I know I've found one and it was not in great shape. This one is almost mint. Awesome. So cool. All right. All right. Where's the rest of the good stuff in here? That is insane. You can't see it through the sleeve. Ah, oh, there it is. It's only $232. That's, that's worth picking, I suppose. Throne of Bones, Slippery Car says nothing. Oh my god! What? Okay, well that's a non-basic land if I've ever seen one. What? Oh, you're ki Dude, this is in good condition. No binder bend on this one because it wasn't in a binder. A little bit of white nick there. Unbelievable! A Gaia's Cradle in the land box. Well, sure. Put all your lands in the land box. Unbelievable. Okay, scan it up. <laughs> oh my god. 360 minus condition, of course. I'm sure it's got it's got some little smudges on it, so it's let's just throw it in the garbage, right? It's not worth anything. Unbelievable. Well, that's my probably one of my biggest hits I've had in a long time. Let's uh, make some room. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's the land box. Can't do. I don't think you can do any better than that with land. Vec Township. So you can get a wasteland. Yes. Okay. Well, there we are. I got my money back, and then some, and then some more. Seriously, this, uh, look, this townships is all messed up, but the cradle's in good condition. Oh, 
I don't even think is that even worth a buck. Oh, ho, ho, ho. now that is the kind of card you want to pull right there, Eureka! I have found it. Four hundred and forty-nine dollars. Come on. There we go. Wow. Now. Now we're cooking, you guys. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent here. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus. Get past the glare. It's got a little play. It's definitely like light play, I would say. So I'm going to go ahead and put a sleeve on this right now. Probably sleeve that Savannah too. Alright, so with the Savannah and the Eureka, I've now broken even. And I'm happy with this lot. And, uh, oh, cool. It's, it's in English too. You see a lot of the, the Italian Eurekas being, being sold or offered for sale. So, English is definitely better. All right. I'm thumbs upping. shouldn't be anything nor it oh no way you see what's coming up do you see what's coming up oh my this uh, I think I'm about to have a very good day you guys not this tranquility but that underground sea yeah oh now we're talking I thought we were talking before but it turns out that now we are I'm so sorry for the glare Let's throw that into the Delver. Is this thing gonna react? How much is an underground sea worth these days, you guys? Well, it's not a beta. It's a revised. I will take it. I have never found an underground sea. I've found savannas before. I've found plateaus before. But never the big dog. Wow, and it's in actually really good shape. It's it's near mint. You know, it's got a couple little things going on for it, but it is in super good shape for being rubber banded together like that. So, uh, definitely my biggest single card find ever um, <laughs> followed closely by this Eureka honestly <laughs> so uh, uh, this is great I'm this is exactly why I wanted to start this channel because who would believe me if I just came and said hey look what I found in this random box from Goodwill you would be like yeah right you bought that on TCG player whatever no I did not I found it the old-fashioned way by gambling for it. So, again, thumbs up. Uh, that is not an L.